And for this video is about earliest video game experiences, right? So the uh, one of my earliest, uh, some of my earliest uh, video games that, that I ever uh, experienced, right? And please like, share, subscribe. Leave down below your your earliest uh, video game experiences. This is mostly, uh, be, you know, are going to be like, you know, a PS2 games because growing up, uh, the PS2, uh, that's what I had, right? There was, a, you know, a, the Mac, uh, you know, a 2000, uh, which I had, which was kind of a uh, separate. But yeah, a PS2 games here. I want to start off here like with the Mac games, uh, which is uh, basically uh, two games, uh, you know, uh, from what I can I remember, uh, the actual names. The first one is going to be Sim Ant. So Sim Ant, you play as an ant and then uh, I think you would evolve. You would naturally evolve over time. But it's like a game of, you know, a survival, right? So you have to avoid uh, predators, you know, find food, find points or whatever like in the world, right? You know, uh, it's from uh, like a bird's eye view, uh, like of the game, right? And, you know, uh, this is an old game. So this is from uh, 1991 here. Yeah, 1991. I played it like in 2001, right? But uh, this one, you know, uh, this one, now like, uh, like when I go uh, back to this game and uh, like when I see gameplay for it, it's like, wow, this looks so old. This is really old. Next one is going to be Spectre. Spectre, which is like some sort of tank, you know, a 3D tank and then you got to take out these other shapes, right? Uh, it was very, this one was very engaging. I remember this one to be very engaging, right? Um, so shapes, so think, I kind of think like, you know, uh, everything like in the world is like basically shapes, right? And there's these uh, red shapes you got to take out, right? Uh, yellow shapes. Are certain shapes right you would kind of that they would act as a cover or like uh blocks right uh, this one was very engaging very fun but yeah spectre let's go over here like to the ps2 games are uh, the uh, ps2 games here now uh first one here uh one of the earliest experiences was need for speed Hopper pursuit 2 one of the earliest yeah uh, uh, definitely need for speed Hopper pursuit 2 uh with the racing like i remember you know that you would uh, unlock a uh, cars over time and uh this one a uh, similar uh, to the one uh that i really like uh uh pursuit 2010 this one had it so you know uh, you could play as cop play as racer right and each side had its own uh, progression system right so you would uh you know naturally uh, progress to unlock more cars this one didn't have a lot of uh, police cars so uh, there wasn't a whole lot of police but it had lots of different uh, racing cars right so a uh, play as racer right uh, trying to uh, competitions escape from cops and cops as the other way around where you have to chase the racer right and yeah i remember this one you know so basic thing uh, you had a uh, time trials when i was a uh, young uh, like i was playing and then i was uh, wondering uh, when do i uh, like unlock the uh, lamborghinis or the uh, diablos or the uh, ferraris or the you know a uh, mclaren so you know i was so uh, 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 i couldn't uh, wait to unlock uh, like those cars but yeah i need to speed up pursuit too Let's go here. SOCOM 1. The original SOCOM US Navy SEALs 1. SOCOM, right? Third person kind of shooter. You know, multiple squads. So, you know, I'm not squads. Uh, like you play like in a squad, right? And there's like four other, uh, you know, uh, characters, right? Very engaging. This one is very, very, very engaging. Uh, impressive, right? Uh, this is... Uh, it's actually like, a, you know, a SOCOM 1 and SOCOM 2. It's actually... Uh, one of the some of the most impressive uh, visuals uh, like from that time uh, that I can I remember. But SOCOM one, you know, so basically uh, you gather intel, you take out various enemies, uh, terrorist organizations, right? I didn't know uh, what I was doing. I uh, playing it uh, like when I was young, right? I would just go, I uh, take out uh, like as many enemies, uh, you know, uh, like as possible. This is not uh, like a stealth game. It's more of like a run and gun type shooter, right? And, uh, but yeah, but you have to be, uh, you know, uh, strategic. So it's more, uh, strategic. I control, uh, one person, but you cannot control, uh, the entire squad, right? I go to Zulu, Bravo, Charlie, etc. right? Fire, like, at will. Different, uh, commands, right? So, yeah. Gran Turismo 3, eh, Spec? This is probably the only Gran Turismo game I played. And I've been on PlayStation, like, a long time. Uh, so, this is probably the only Gran Turismo game I've ever played. But Gran Turismo 3... So Gran Turismo, I remember this being a very slow-paced game, right? Kind of like uh, you're in these NASCAR uh, tracks, arenas, right? And uh, yeah, so those basic things you would uh, like unlock at newer cars. I remember the first car I raced as was the Nissan. It was like a Nissan or like a certain uh, Mitsubishi car. And uh, yeah, you know, you would have various unlockables. And yeah, uh, I know uh, a lot of these uh, racing games, uh, they were known for their uh, soundtracks. They had very good soundtracks uh, from what I can I remember. Let's see here now. Midnight Club 2, which I 
Uh, this is probably like I have so many uh, memories uh, like from this game. Midnight Club Two, right? So uh, you go from LA to Paris to Tokyo, and the difficulty like of the races gets harder. You know the uh, as you get a uh, closer uh, to the end of you know uh, Tokyo. So basically, you know uh, various cars unlockables, right? So uh, you would uh, go from you know. A racer at a racer. Every racer has like his own animation, like these uh, these uh, screen animations, where they're talking, you know, you know, a crap to you or whatever. And then uh, every racer you uh, complete or sorry, you defeat, you actually gain their car. So you actually gain their vehicle. Uh, you gain their vehicle, and then you move on at the next area, right? At the next, you know, a racer. At the next racer. So yeah, uh, this one uh, growing up. So you know, every time I uh, playing it, you know, uh, like I quickly I found out that like I had to. Every race, you know, like you have to be in first place in order to uh, progress, right? So if you're not in first place, it's kind of like, you, yeah, you got to be like some sort of a perfectionist, right? So, you know, every race, uh, you have to be like in first place. And there's various checkpoints. You got to hit hit like all the checkpoints, get to the finish line, I finish uh, that race onto the next race or uh, sometimes onto the next racer and so on, right? And as you uh, got uh, closer to Tokyo, the race, the races... Uh, got more difficult right and the maps that uh, they get more narrow so it's harder to turn like in certain areas right ghost recon one ghost recon sorry uh, 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 ghost recon jungle storm ghost recon this one so we can only see the crosshairs this i was a uh, confused playing it like when i was young because i didn't know where's my soldier where's my character i you know but you know uh, ghost recon you know so a similar thing to socom it's like a squad based uh, strategy a shooter, right? But this one is a, it's a different a camera view, right? So, like, you're only seeing it through, like, the, uh, you know, crosshairs of view, right? Ghost Recon, you know, at the sound, uh, I can remember this one, like, the sound effects in the guns, the actual, you know, a, a voice acting, uh, like, was very good. Like, the actual sound effects, like, in the game, like, was very good, right? Obviously, uh, graphics are going to be a very outdated now, so very old graphics right um you know uh, uh, what i i remember uh, like from this game this game uh, you know at uh, the most was the radar so the radar would have like a yellow an orange uh, and like a red so a red meant that you know uh, the enemies are uh, very close yellow means that uh, you are going like in the right uh, direction and then orange is, is kind of you know uh, in between uh, those two right you're a uh, close to the enemy but you're not uh, close enough right to uh, take them out right so yeah, but yeah, uh, Ghost Recon, and uh, and I'm assuming this is that's an older a uh, Ubisoft uh, symbol. So uh, this is probably Ubisoft like in its earliest days, right? Uh, ATV Off Road Fury Three, right? So like uh, it's only racing like on ATVs, right? There is multiple air tricks that they can do. So these cool last, you know, a body tricks are like in the air, uh, like with your ATV. Uh, it's, you know, it's very cool, very cool animations. I don't remember um, how much on this game, uh, but I remember the actual, you know, tracks at the tracks. So you go on these various tracks, arenas, right? Uh, sometimes so like off-road, uh, forest areas, right? That's very cool. It was very cool. And it had very, like a lot of these, again, uh, racing games, they have very cool soundtracks and, you know, audio, uh, visuals, etc. right? I don't remember in this one if you had to be, like, in first place, but, you know, like every a racing game, first place maximizes uh, like your awards and all that. Terminator 3 Rise of the uh, Machines. Terminator 3 Rise of the uh, Machines. Based on the Terminator movie, Terminator 3 Rise of the, uh, you know, you know uh, Machines. First person shooter, right? So it's the same thing like uh, like the movie. Except like uh, you start the game through, you know, uh, like the future. Uh, like you're in the future as, you know, like this uh, reprogrammed Terminator. Then you have to go back in time to save John, right? You had this one. I uh, playing at uh, this game uh, a couple of months ago. Uh, like I realized, oh, uh, this game I uh, wasn't that good. Uh, tight controls, right? Uh, repetitive uh, objectives, right? Sometimes too uh, difficult. But uh, there was this one. Uh, there was the other one, the Terminator Three. Uh, you know, a uh, Redemption, which is a little different. But uh, it's the same. Uh, it's like a parallel, a uh, timeline type thing, or like some sort of. Uh, it's like some sort of spin-off game. Terminator Three: A uh, uh, Redemption was like a third-person viewpoint. Right, uh, like from the camera, and uh, yeah, you know, it is a more uh, engaging uh, gameplay, right? Uh, the style, I like the gameplay better, our uh, controls, shooting, etc. Right, but Terminator 3 Resident Machines. Last one here is going to be World Tour. 
World Tour. Uh, you know, so kind of like Tony Hawk, except uh, you're only using the scooter. I don't remember. I don't remember if you can change to uh, skateboards, but you know, you do these tricks. So similar thing to to ATV off road, where I remember you do a air tri air tricks, right? So air tricks, you do various air tricks, right? So, but uh, like you'd have to go uh, like up on ramps and like do these tricks like on edges uh, to maximize like your points. And uh, yeah, uh, this one had mini bosses, so like you would fight mini bosses, and uh, like a. a pl I playing this uh, when I was growing up, like I had no idea what I was doing. This one I had no idea what I was doing. Like, I never got that far into it, but I remember it had like a very unique art style, animation, uh, sound, uh, sound effects, and all those things, right? So yeah, world tour. So earliest video game experiences. Like, share, subscribe. Uh, thanks for watching. I leave down your uh, list. Uh, thank you.